In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play xCloud Gaming with mouse and keyboard on your PC. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your browser, preferably Chrome. And so you're just gonna search up Chrome Web Store. You're gonna click on the first one over here. I'm just gonna search up mouse and keyboard for xCloud. You're just gonna click on the first one over here. Click add to Chrome and then just click add extension. You will be prompted to this page over here and you're just gonna click on gamepadtester.com, this link right over here. You will see this page over here, click understood and then you should get this page over here. And so basically this is only a three day free trial. After this trial does expire, you will need to pay $4 per month in order to access this service. But what you can do is just uninstall the extension, reinstall, and then use a different email each time, and it would work every single time. So what you're gonna do now is just enter in your email, so I'll be back when I do that. Once you've entered in your email, you do need to confirm it. So you're just gonna go to your email and then click the confirm button, so I'll be back when I do that. Once you confirm, just search up xCloud, and then click over here. And you should see this page right over here and you will see a sign in button over here and a sign up. So if you have an account, just sign in. If you don't sign up and what you're going to do here is just click on any one of the games. So I'm just going to click on Fortnite over here, click on play and you will see this page saying, let's get ready. You may experience quality degradation or gameplay issues. And this is important. It says controller not detected, but just ignore this and click continue anyways. And you will see this over here saying default preset activated and click here to enable mouse control. So what you're going to do from here is just click on this right over here, click here to enable mouse control. And so now what it does is every mouse key that you click will be translated into a controller key. So to see which one's which, what you're going to do is click escape. You're going to click on this right over here scroll down until you find or scroll up until you find the actual extension over here and then you're just gonna click on the extension button right over here and now you can see which key is actually which so it's telling me to click the a right over here and it says that the a button is space on the keyboard so if i go back and click click here to enable mouse control and then click space you can see that it works that i clicked a and i clicked done and it says here to click A again. So I'm just going to click space again. And as you can see, it does work. Or you're going to click A again. And as you can see, all of that works. So if you click escape and then click on the actual extension, you can see that you can customize them. So if I click edit right over here, I can choose whatever I want. So let's just say I want the A button to be something else like the A button. So I can just... Click A right over here, and that's it. It's that simple. Anyways, I hope this video did help. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.